Hey, greetings. This is Brother Jim at Don'tPerish.com, John 4, 24 Radio. Hope you're all doing well. Hey, I got a teaching and some thoughts for you today. Here's my title. Don't tell me America is not an idolatrous country. First of all, let me read some scriptures for you, and then let me talk to you about my topic, right? How about Colossians 3, 5? Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, covetousness, which is idolatry. 1 John 5, 21. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Leviticus 19, 4. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make unto yourselves molten gods. Psalm 135, 15. The idols of the heathen, silver and gold, and the work of men's hands. 1 Corinthians 10, 14. Wherefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. God hates idolatry. What is idolatry? Idolatry is not just making a golden calf and bending your knee and worshiping it. Nope. Idolatry is anything that you have in your life that is more important, that you favor more, look to more, experience more, enjoy more than God himself. And I want to talk to you about why don't tell me America is not an, ad- a, an idolatrous, a idolatrous country. We are out west, August 2019, preaching the gospel. We happen to be in Wyoming, and we're traveling the country, preach the gospel everywhere we go, full-time ministry, supporting ourselves. Don't take money from anyone. God has called us to this. And here's what we see. Uh, Over the past couple days, we've been to a music concert. We've been witnessing in a busy tourist town. We've been witnessing at a fake gunfight. We've been witnessing at a rodeo. And here's what I always see. We stand out with gospel signs with our website on it. People in America can see that we are about the things of God if they would go to the website. We have scriptures. We have things like Repent or Perish, Good News Gospel. But here's what we see. Before all these events, people willingly stand up. Men take their hats off. People put their hands on their heart and they bow their spirits to the flag of America and sing the anthem. Yet when the word of God is presented to them, No one so far in these two days, and very rarely does it ever happen, comes up and says, the word of God, we love the word of God, we love God, you know, what are you about, all this, generally, here's what we get in America, if a hundred people come by, we generally get 95 that are mockers, 95% are mockers, and then we get three, four, five that are, I should say, two or three that are kind of just say, what are you about? Very rarely. And then we always get some sheep that come by and go, wow, I've been thinking about the things of God and I know I have a lot of sin and wow, this has convicted me and that's great. That's what we're out here for. Here's my point though. The vast majority of Americans that are calling themselves Christians, we see it. They're wearing crosses, okay? They don't care about the Word of God proclaimed. They don't care about holiness and obedience. They don't care either about God's people, us, or if we're enemies to them. They don't love us. They don't come and show us love. How many men I've said to when they come by and go, yeah, I got the gospel. I say, come, let's talk about the gospel. Nah, I don't want to. Do you know the gospel? I don't want to talk about it. Do you love me? Nah, they shake their hand and they keep walking. And I say, John 13 says... The sign of God's people will be love for each other. I love them enough to stand out in the hot sun and risk my safety. We happen to be in an area where everybody carries guns, by the way. (laughs) This is what happens when you come out west. Um, Don't tell me America is not an idolatrous country. People will honor the flag, honor veterans, honor war, honor an anthem, 
they don't pay honor to God's word other than going to church on Sunday for an hour and saying a prayer. But then they go back in the world to their entertainment, their foolishness, their carnality. So people, please stop emailing me and stop telling me that America is a great, good, godly country. Does America have some good to it? Of course it does. Is America a godly country? Not by a long shot. Pornography, carnality, sports, entertainment, corrupt politics, abortion, sexual perversion, Hollywood entertainment, idolatrous actions I've just explained. People, wake up and see what America really is. And I'll say it again. Don't tell me America is not an idolatrous nation. It clearly is. We're out here on the gospel road making disciples where we can. We did meet a man today, just today. Praise God. I'm going to talk about it. And I talked to him for half an hour and he's convicted about man-made religion and he wants to seek the scriptures. So we're out here. There are people out here. I'm not telling you there isn't. But the vast majority of Americans are awash in idolatry, carnality, false man-made religion, false spirituality. And we hope to find a sheep that will listen. I hope this has been encouragement to you. Yes, America's a dark nation, but there are sheep out there. Every time I go out witnessing street preaching, I meet one person that I say, that may be a sheep. God always encourages me with at least one, sometimes more than that. If I get in front of a thousand or two thousand people, there might be two or three or four people (laughs) that seem like they might be sheep. I hope that's an encouragement to you. Jesus said in Matthew 7, few will enter the narrow road and make it. So I hope that's an encouragement to you that if you're in ministry, don't look for numbers, a favor. Remember what it says in Luke, that God abhors what the world esteems highly. So if you have a ministry that's very popular, God abhors it because you probably are teaching and not teach, teaching worldly things and not uh, unbiblical things and not teaching the full truth of God. So let me encourage you, come out of America and her idolatrous ways cling to God's word and spirit and truth. Test yourself at the gospel and the 10 point test at don'tperish.com. That's why we're out here because we love God and we love our neighbor. I hate to break the news to you people. America is an idolatrous nation. The wrath of God is on its way, not just to America, to the whole world. And we're out here preaching the gospel to see who will listen and who will repent. So this has been Brother Jim at Don'tPerish.com. We love you all in the Lord. Let me know how we can help you. Till then, keep striving, saints. We're standing strong with you. May God be praised.